Learn fiber optics with Senco. The world turns on information. It's by far the most important and valuable global resource in the modern world. An organization's survival depends on its ability to protect critical data, including intellectual property, customer information, trade secrets, and capital controls. Information technology security is increasing with more organizations looking to the cloud to manage everyday operations. However, cyber attacks and data breaches are becoming a more commonplace. The next great leap in this evolution is now underway with the emergence of quantum computers. But what are they? In short, they are devices that tap into and exploit quantum mechanical behaviors to solve complex problems that cannot be solved using conventional computing. Future hyperscale data centers and exascale computers may increasingly incorporate quantum computer and communication nodes to complement their capabilities, including, for example, the provision of quantum as a service. Quantum cryptography will become a fundamental tool in securing critical data arriving or leaving the data center and will form the basis of the so-called quantum internet. So, what is quantum cryptography? Quantum cryptography is based on the principle that any attempt to intercept quantum particles along a quantum communication channel will irreversibly change the state of the quantum particles and will be detectable by the parties exchanging information. Wow, that's a mouthful, but what do we mean by this? Well, let's imagine it as follows. Let's take a sender, we'll call her Alice, who sends information across a normal optical channel to a receiver, let's call him Bob. So Alice sends information with a laser in the form of pulses of light, and each pulse contains hundreds of photons, which Bob can detect with his photo detector. Now, if an eavesdropper, let's call her, you guessed it, Eve, decides to intercept the signal without Alice or Bob knowing about it, she would just snatch a small portion of the photons as they go by. Bob still receives most of the photons and doesn't suspect anything. This doesn't matter, because nowadays all messages are encrypted. That is, Alice locks the message with a special private key, and the only way to unlock and read the message is with the corresponding private key which Alice gave to Bob earlier. So, Eve can listen all she likes. She won't be able to unlock the messages without the key. The problem is, how does Alice send the key to Bob securely? If she sends it across a normal channel and Eve intercepts it, Eve will have the key. She will then be able to unlock all messages passing from Alice to Bob without them knowing it. What Alice and Bob need to exchange keys is a special channel, a quantum channel. So, on a quantum channel, Alice would send just one single photon at a time to Bob. This photon can exist in many states simultaneously until it's measured for the first time and then its state becomes fixed. Or in quantum speak, we would say its wave function collapses when it's observed. But how would that work? Well, we need to take advantage of quantum effects, such as superposition or entanglement, where a particle, such as a single photon, can be many things at once, until it's measured or observed for the first time. Now since Alice is sending just one photon, and not a bunch of photons at a time, Eve can't snatch a few. She will need to snatch the whole photon, measure it, then send a duplicate photon or clone to Bob. But once it's measured or observed for the first time, its state becomes fixed. So even though Eve sends an exact clone of the photon to Bob, Bob will be able to detect that someone has already observed it and that the channel isn't safe. In the quantum world, this is called no cloning theory. This technique of sending cryptographic keys safely is called quantum key distribution. The most common example of quantum key distribution is called the BB84 protocol. To test whether there's anyone listening on the channel, Alice sends a string of single photons to Bob over the quantum channel, each with one of four random polarizations. Alice and Bob then compare notes to see if the quantum channel was intercepted. And if not, they can then extract a shared secret key from the bits encoded in the single photon sent. Alice and Bob can use this secret shared key to encrypt and decrypt messages sent along the normal communication channel. But what will this quantum channel look like? In reality, a quantum channel will be an optical channel made up of optical fibers and connectors to guide the single or entangled photons from Alice to Bob. A single photon is extremely delicate and has a tiny amount of energy. The important thing about making a quantum channel is to ensure that its journey is as smooth and seamless as possible. Any bumps along the way could cause the single photon to collapse into a fixed state, as if it had been intercepted and observed on the way, and thus not be useful to Bob. The longer this channel is, the more likely it is to hit obstacles and be disrupted on the way, making it unusable. So, in order to make a proper quantum channel, the optical connectors and optical fiber which make up the channel, need to be practically invisible to the single photon. 
The quantum internet will be built on this new generation of lossless optical interconnect to carry quantum photons seamlessly across the world.